Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to back to my Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater walkthrough. On the last episode, this woman was found snooping uh, around my underground vault. Started this cutscene when she was captured. <laughs> Look what we found. So now we're gonna end it. The philosopher's legacy. This microfilm contains all Press the information Press R1, the star will show you how much time you have left. You might say that this film itself is well, the heck? philosopher's legacy. Not really sure why his face is fucked up. It was the smell that gave her away. Not the perfume. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. We found this radio along with her too. <laughs> Such a fine woman she was. It almost pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> what was that? Do you have something to say to me? Go to hell. Damn! Fail. What the heck? Is that like a mini gun or something? I guess. I never really made it quite clear what that's supposed to be. You dirty whore. <laughs> I've had enough you dirty whore. from you. I believe that's this is also the only game where people say the word whore, the only Metal Gear game. I should have known. What the heck? What's that so time for? Why is he coming up? In ten minutes my the C 3s I planted will blow up. Just like uh, the case. And why is it him that comes up something with so the little timer going so I don't know. What is the philosophy legacy? It's just a little creepy. Very well. I'll explain it before I kill you. Why? Why would you explain your master plan to your enemy just because you think you're During about to kill him? Great war, Let me just take ten minutes out of my time China, to explain to you the my Soviet master plan. Union had a secret pact. Don't you know that that's how all villains are going to explain? For defeating the Axis powers you're and you're creating a new world exactly. order. Exactly. To what's, secure what's victory cost, in the war. And then I pull out a Doom Blade and I kill them. Pool their resources, <laughs> to conduct the most covert types of operations I think and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. Cobra! Hell, Cobra! And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects. Enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the philosopher's legacy. <laughs> After the war That's was what won, tanks looked like three back countries in the day. were to divide the philosopher's that legacy like amongst the themselves. <laughs> <laughs> this explains why the United States and the Soviet <laughs> Union were able to steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. But our great motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rivals. We possess enormous it's wealth, amazing how big most advanced is. technology, and overwhelming well, power, assets fitting of our great country. Our great uninhabitable country. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the philosopher's legacy. In the confusion that ensued after the war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. You just mad. You mad, bro. Money was divided up, laundered through banks all over the world. Switzerland, Australia, and Hong Kong. This microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. After my father's death, I learned of this secret. Obtained the microphone. the dogs. With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Groznygrad and Granin's research facility. But that worthless fool Granin 
failed to produce results. I was forced to turn to Khrushchev's dog Sokolov and his invention, the Shagohard. My position in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility. Well, we have facility three computers direct. running and a PS3 and a Hawkbug rendering and recording. Established by the secret and a TV. still existed. And it's a small Used room. It to contact the, the boss and suggested that she defect. Yes. <laughs> it's the boss quite was conniving yeah. enough to see things my way. The world was once one. <laughs> but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. To do this, we need strength. An unstoppable trump card with enough power to bring order to the world. Hey, look who it is. That trump there. card was to be the Shago Hod and the Cobra unit. Hey, it's a pyromani pyromaniac. Yeah, that's all the bosses I fought. I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shago Hod and the Legacy. He mad. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Except send me in. Boss, take this someplace safe. I ain't your servant. Ooh. She's like, bitch, give me that. I've thrown you down once and I'll do it again. Take good care of it. She they don't call me man. the boss for nothing. Well, she has a very manly Can physique that can't just make her look all frail and weak and make her a complete badass. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. That's why an astronaut suit. It's a like sneaking it. suit. No. Any surprises for us. <laughs> I'll dispose of her as well. Leave everything to me. Plot twist. <laughs> Darn. I wanted to see some old with young action. Yes. Mm. Especially in video games. No, dude, video games make Fight kissing like so awkward. I don't know why it's so hard to make two characters make full contact with each other. But anytime there's a kissing scene in video games, their lips never fully make contact. Like space between yeah. Them and you. <laughs> Let's leave this wide gap. <laughs> Let me notice it. <laughs> they won't notice it. I've been waiting for this moment. Time to get even. Okay. So. Right. Be. He has two revolvers. Six bullets, six bullets each. Bullets each. Ah ah ah. Um, Was I really no about to go hand on hand? No more field strips. Anyways, go on. That means. 12 bullets, 12 shots. 12 bullets to kill who probably has about 15 bullets in his one gun. <laughs> Let's see, he has an upper eye. Enough of this. You know, unfortunately, none of this is probably going to be heard by my microphone because you're speaking very quietly. No, but the gay cyborg man's going to take off his arms and do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's mine. You will stand right there and watch. Got it? Please, Damn. Colonel, let me Silence! Diamonds! I kill you! Typical bad guy line. He mad. I think he's gonna throw a temper tantrum. Yep. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I got one bullet. What the hell? Apparently he. I don't know. They never explain how he controls electricity. I'll just back up. Okay, he's very creepy back there. <laughs> he has like a smile like, yeah. <laughs> the funny Sorry thing is that time limit really does keep going on this boss fight. Let's get started, really, yeah. shall we? Yes. Here we go. <sighs> this is a once in a lifetime battle. Let's well, of make course, it a one of us is gonna one. die. 
What do you get the young fairy bags on the very bottom? Oh no, he's coming down. He just... The game just needed a reason for me to not be able to escape the battle set. I... Now he brings up all his clothes. Yeah, the bullets he has on right now... Are not blowing up. Yeah, it makes no sense. Especially because that's... Well, I'm not gonna give it away. I'm guessing that's how he shoots. It's no, it's some, something else. But yeah. That, that's true also. Me now. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> that's just creepy. Does he really have to show off all the time? Yeah, for real. That's the reason he's been losing all this time. You had a advantage over me. I was playing with my guns. I don't understand this part. What, what? What? What is? Why is he doing that? And why does it make him do like? I don't understand. I guess it's pretty much. You hear demonic voices in the background. It's just... Yeah, those are my dogs. Sorry. Now they're trying to kill each other. So wait, he has two health. Oh no, the other one is the guy up top. Alright, one little secret. If you put Radinoff's face on, you get a free shot at him. I <laughs> Seriously? No, not CQC, I'm not gonna risk that. Is it really you? Does that happen every time you put the mask on? No, unfortunately. It's only he's not that dumb. But he was dumb enough to yeah. see you like that. <laughs> and then see you with, put the mask on and still believe it. And then he gets mad. You? You're not tired of it! Here it comes! <laughs> yeah, it only happens when you do that because he gets so mad, I guess. Alright, um... Pretty much, he's the typical, you can only hit him from behind bad guy. And, yep. And the greener or bluer the screen is, the more electricity has built up. So when the, the screen goes back to its normal um, color, that means he's running out of electricity. He's going to have to go back to one of the fuse boxes to recharge. Can you do something, please? Are you just going to stand there? Okay. When he's doing, when he does this move, oh wait, wrong move. All right, hold on. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. See, when he has more electricity built up, it can create like a barrier around him every time you shoot him. Okay, when he does this move, unequip any weapon you have, because that will make. If it touches you, it'll make all the ammo in your weapon blow up. Ow. I'm surprised that the shock really doesn't make you run slower. That is very shocking. You can't have both. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. So far, so good. The only thing that's killing me here is the time, really. So you have to beat both of them in under three minutes? Uh, no. Uh, you don't fight Ocelot. Ocelot's actually helping you. Shoot him! Wow. Do you hear me? I said shoot him! What a bitch. Sorry, Colonel. I'm afraid I can't do that. What do you mean you can't? I made a promise to the boss. Silence! I, guess... I am your commanding officer. 
I have no idea what the explanation is here. What do you mean? How do the bullets do that? Make the electricity Are go a different way. Here comes the line. Tell him, Ocelot. But first, walk dramatically. What's this be? He mad. Fight like a man, Volgin. Oh. Volgin? He wants to kill Snake, but he won't let him. Also, he made a promise to the boss, apparently. Ocelot, find those bombs! Repeat, explosives have been detected. All non-EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Everybody else does not matter. Move it! Huh. Right. I feel like that little signal he does to you all the time means so many things. All right, he's gonna do a new move now. All the bullets he used up in the last half of the fight, he can throw at you like that. Whenever he does it, all you gotta do is this. It's not that big of a deal. You can actually see all the bullets down there. Oh, yeah, I guess. That's pretty funny. Oh, God. He's, he's pretty much burning the bullets down, firing the bullets with his electricity. If you want people to hear, you're going to have to talk a bit louder, dude. Oh, just... Or at least get closer. Yeah. I didn't notice how low my health was. Very interesting way. Very interesting. Stupid. Ah, here he is recharging because he ran out of electricity, I guess. So now you get a free shot at him. Oh, Snake is hungry. I completely forgot that you ate in this game. Uh, I don't have many good foods. I'm just going to eat the rations. <laughs> Doesn't taste as bad as death. Damn! Well, there goes all my health. Damn it. Oh, uh, I can't shoot him from the front. there. One more shot. Yes! What? <laughs> That's kind of a luck thing, though. I don't really know how you make it shoot that huge whirlwind. And then you would reload for 10 hours. One thing I never liked about Metal Gear is their lack of gore. I mean, I'm not ex I'm not because I'm like some kind of blood. No, I didn't have to sacrifice. I have some kind of blood fetish, but this man just took ten shotguns round, ten shotgun shots to the face, and he looks cleaner. Cool guys don't run away from explosions, they walk away. Mm -hmm. 
Dang, this is the first time I see snakes so tired. Uh oh. Uh oh. Step on it. By the way, I thought she was gonna be by the river. Where's what is she doing here? Boom! Headshot. There, we destroyed the shackle hot and we saved the world. Twist. I'll tell you later. Right now we've got to get to the lake and escape. We can't leave yet. I've still got one last job to do. The boss is already at the lake. <laughs> She's at the lake. She's waiting for you there. Waiting for me? I was hoping I wouldn't have to tell you. I don't want you to fight her. Cause you got fucked up again. But I... I've come to realize that there's a special relationship between you two. She jealous. <laughs> Something I can't understand. Something that goes beyond a man and a woman. I envy you. Really, I do. But I guess I just can't understand it. She asked me to tell you something. I've never seen someone with such clear eyes. Wait, there. such clear eyes? You mean such clear eyes? I said it. Ta! <laughs> That's me. Ready to go? <laughs> yeah. If I started seeing something coming at me, I would not see it. I'd be like, punch it, bitch! Whatever it is, it can't be good. Normally, something's trying to break out and come at me. Where exactly is he uh, getting a view? Like, I don't see any windows. It's probably a camera. You see that film? It's probably. Right at the very top, there's a film right next to the film. Well, that circle thing. Um, if you talk to Stigant, he tells you that apparently the reason it didn't get destroyed is because right before it blew up, the EOD personnel uh, emptied out some of the fuel. So the explosion wasn't as big as it was supposed to be. So now, no boom? No boom. No big boom, just a boom. Now, this is a, moto, a typical Metal Gear motorcycle scene where you just shoot all the bad guys that get in your way and you have infinite ammo. In my opinion, all of these uh, vehicle scenes in every Metal Gear game are completely pointless. Because, okay, I understand a motorcycle can pretty much topple over if it runs over any. But, like in Metal Gear 4, okay, Metal Gear 4, you're off the work. Metal Gear Solid, though, you were in a freaking Jeep. And Meryl would stop because there were two people in front of you. Stop, Snake, they're made of stone. I can't get through them. You got shoot them. But in all honesty, you're not really in much, uh, in a lot of danger in these parts. You can really just kind of enjoy the view, except for the parts where you're forced to shoot people. Do you remember this level, Metal Gear Online? Yeah, doesn't it look a lot bigger in this game for some reason? Everything is was like scaled down in Metal Gear Online. Like remember here, this is where everybody, with this is where one team would start. And then that door would be open. And then there's a sniper. Oh, the sniper does close to me there. Oh. And I'm sure you remember that thing over there. Alright, anyways. Uh. No, I wanted the video. I am. 
Like I said, I'm probably actually uh, considering that we're not gonna do a mage, I might as well just do the rest of the game. Sorry. Yeah, like I said, that whole part's kind of... I don't know, I feel that, like they, they could have made it a cutscene and it would have been cooler. There's really no point to that whole part. Hold on, Snake. Let's stop right here and see if it gets through. Let's not take this opportunity to get away even more. Oh my god, they're getting through. Let's see it happen. Well, you definitely can't shake him if you're standing still. Onto the bridge. Blow him up along with it. Good plan. The bridge is on the other side of the runway. We'll have to cut through the middle of the base. You ready? Step on it. If it catches up to us, we're done for. I don't think he cares much as long as you get that done. Okay, here we go. Without a ramp. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was gonna use the, his little. What do you call those things you put on pistols to make him steadier? Is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. He, he ends up using that like as a friggin' sword. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> See, if the whole motorcycle part was like this, I would've liked it a lot more. There's a bunch of cool cutscenes instead of lame gameplay. Now, before you guys say that Snake is a softie, you didn't do that to save Ocelot. You did that because if they would have fallen down, even though it would have killed Ocelot, his way would have been blocked. Anyways. Rematch with that deck. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe and check out our other walkthroughs. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Yep. Okay.